forgot the keys. All right, as promised, we're gonna do a little maintenance on Harvey, which technically has already been done. I'm taking it for a test drive right now. <clears throat> but you're gonna find out exactly how easy it is to replace the rear different diff <laughs> you're gonna find out how easy it is to replace the rear differential fluid in a 2018 Honda HRV um, one thing of note um, I don't know I've done some research I'm not sure but the only thing that I can find that you can put in this Let's see if that make sure that's focused is this dual pump fluid too from Honda I have not found a single aftermarket replacement for that and so that's what I use when I do the CVT fluid I have found a good replacement for that I think it's good I've used it on on Harvey here and it turned out good so um, another thing is you will need two crush washers. One is a 18 millimeter and one is a 20 millimeter crush washer. Um, this is another thing that's really easy to do. Um, it takes four tools. You have a 3 8 inch drive ratchet um, if you are a torquing type person which I am um, you're going to need a torque wrench that goes up to 35 foot pounds the um, the medium size one that they sell at Harbor Freight with a 3 8 inch drive um, that 35 foot pounds is right in the center of it I think it's five to 80 foot pounds or something like that. So, so 35 is really close to the center. Um, you're gonna need uh, something to catch the fluid with and something to pump the fluid into the, to the rear differential with. I, um, I'm gonna roll in some footage of, of the uh, syringe thing that I use that I got from uh, Amsoil. I do use, use mostly Amsoil products on my vehicles, except for this, obviously. Um, Amsoil doesn't make a replacement for that, so. Other than that, this is a, a real easy job to do to make your, your Honda HRV run its best for as long as it can. And uh, I'm gonna find out how long that is. Y'all ride along with me. All right, to find your rear diff, you just look at the back of the car, go right up under. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. That's it right there. Okay. Let's see what we get over here. This right here is the fill port. And on this side, I can see where it is. Oh, there it is. Drain port. All right, first thing I'm gonna do First thing I'm going to do is put this in and break the fill loose. Good lord. <clears throat> Alright, next we're going to come around to the other side. Install that there. Break this one loose. 
Less grunt than that time. Pull this off. Hopefully, catch just a little. So that's twenty five thousand ish miles. It looks pretty good. I guess it's a little dark in the. There we go, the drain bolt has normal sludge on it, which is just friction material has come off. Clutches. So we're going to clean that all up really nice. And then this one gets an 18 millimeter crush washer. Get your drain bolt, your fill bolt gets a 20 millimeter crush washer. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead. Install the drain back. All right, this gets, let's see, torqued to 35 foot-pounds. You can get these torque wrenches really cheap at Harbor Freight, and I love mine. See 35 right there. Somewhere. Right there. You just lock this. And it's there. And then you do the same thing. One, two, torqued. Alright, we're back on the driver's side now. Going to put fluid in the fill port until it overflows. Stick this in here. A half quart.
put a link in the description for this pump that I'm using. It's really just a huge syringe I got from Amsoil. But it works really good for this. And that is full. I'm just going to let that sit for a few minutes while I clean up my hands. I really should be using gloves on this, and I was going to, but it's like 5,000 degrees out here. Don't want to get it done. All right, at this point, I'm going to put the plug back in. Ouch. Put on same 35 foot pounds that you tighten the other side to. You tighten this side to. One, two, and I'm done. Down, wipe everything down and with just a few tools had a 3 inch ratchet a uh, medium sized torque wrench from Harbor Freight which is really cheap um, a couple of crush washers from Amazon that's real cheap I'll put links to everything in the description and uh, this little syringe thing that I got from Amazon I'll put a link to that too and really there's nothing to this guys there's uh less than 50,000 miles in the car this is I did the first time at 25,000 and it's close to 50 now, so that's it. Hope you'll have a fantastic day and y'all take care. This is the syringe thing that I got from Amsoil that I used to actually fill it with. I'll uh, put a link in the description. Bear, where are you at? There you are. Hey there, bear, bear. <laughs> All right, this is the syringe that, <laughs> and bear that I picked up from uh, Amsoil on their website. I'll put a link to it down there. It takes about, um, I don't know, about three of these. You'll see in the video. Thank you, bear. Bear. 
This is this is really hard to do, Bear, with you. Anyway, it takes about three of those, quart and a half of the uh, dual pump two fluid, or dual pump fluid two. So there you go.